In this video, we will learn about a resistor, resistance, resistivity, and sheet resistance. A resistor is an electronic component that resists the flow of electric current. Schematically, it's represented like this with two terminals, say we call them X and Y, are the two terminals of the resistor. And the resistance of this resistor is R. So now we would look into what is resistance. So, for example, take any material with a cross-sectional area A and a length of L. So the length here is L, the cross-sectional area is A. So, and this is made up of, say, material M1. Now, if we would like to find out what is the resistance between the points X and Y here, so that resistance R is proportional to the length. So as the length increases, the resistance increases. And now that resistance also is inversely proportional to the cross-sectional area. So if we have a bigger conductor or resistance, say for example, it has it is much taller, much wider. So it's something like this but of the same length. So we take the same length but it's a much bigger cross-sectional area. So if the cross-sectional area increases what it means is the resistance is going to decrease. Now this R can be written as if you put a constant of proportionality this R is written as a rho L over A. And this rho is called resistivity. Now we will see what the units of this resistivity are. We know that the units of resistance are ohms. This is the units of resistance R. And now we rho can be written as R multiplied by the cross-sectional area over L. So now if you look at the the units of rho which would be ohms meter square over a meter so which is ohm meter. So this is the resistivity. Now let's look at two scenarios here. Let's take one resistor which has cross-sectional area A, length of L, and this is made up of material M1. Now you take another one which has the same cross-sectional area A, the same length, and it is made up of material M2. So now if you try to calculate the resistance for each of these resistors, R1 is rho 1 L over A. This is the length. And R2 for this would be rho 2 L over A where rho 2 is the resistivity of material M2. This is M2 resistivity. Rho 1 is the resistivity of the material M1. So even though they have the same length and the same cross-sectional area, the resistance would be different. Now let's assume that, the, let's look at the third one where you have a cylindrical resistor right now. So but this also has a cross-sectional area A 
and the length is L and it's made up of material M1 and if you look at this and this they look different this has a, this has a rectangular or a square face whereas this has a circular face but now if you look at R3 which would be row 1 because the material is the same row 1 L over A so which is nothing but R1 so it doesn't depend it's not the shape of uh, the the resistor but it depends on the material the type the material of the resistor and if the length and the cross sectional area are the same the material is the same it doesn't matter what the shape is the resistance would be equal so R3 would be equal to R1 now let's look at semiconductor processing in in semiconductors what happens is you the resistances are usually made up of polysilicon or they could be n well or diffusion or even metal resistors But in semiconductor processing, usually what happens is, say if you look at a polysilicon, a piece of polysilicon, it's usually the shape like this. What you can do is, you can only specify the length and you can specify the width. We don't have any control over the thickness of this material. It doesn't matter what it is, polysilicon or envel, diffusion or metal. The thickness T is determined by the process. Is determined by process. So this is not in our control. So but if you look at the resistance, say this is polysilicon, say material M three so R can be written as between the points X and Y again R can be written as Rho Rho 3 L over A cross-sectional area A in this case the cross-sectional area is W multiplied by T and then Rho 3 so now what we do is we, we said we don't have control over this and this is determined by the material so this is determined by the process and this is determined by what the material you use so you pull these two out these two terms rho 3 over t the thickness multiplied by L by W so R this is the resistance so now we give a new name for this rho 3 over T so this is the resistivity or the thickness of the material so what we call that is we call that sheet resistance it's resistivity rho over T thickness so this is the thickness and this is the resistivity so now R is usually written as rho L over cross-sectional area which can also be written as RS which is the sheet resistance L over A so RS is the sheet resistance now if you look at uh, what the units of RS are RS is R sorry this is W RS L over W so are the units of RS are 
R multiplied by W or L which is ohm meter over meter so which is nothing but ohms so that's why we call it sheet resistance and not resistivity but we usually in semiconductors it's usually specified as ohms per square what the square means is because you don't have control over the thickness so this is the W and the length of the material L so you take it you you take it as squares here so this is the length say the length is here in this case approximately is L is say 2.2 2 times W so you got 1 W here 1 W here and 0 0.2 W here so each square if you look at this square each square would contribute to a resistance of RS so this is RS here is RS and here is 0 0.2 RS so the L is 0.2 W so so the total R is 2.2 RS so that's why sometimes it is termed as the the units is ohms per square so that is the sheet resistance so in this video we learned about a resistor a resistivity and how the resistance varies with the length and the cross-sectional area then we looked at uh, three different uh, resistors made up of two different materials and having the same L, the length and the cross-sectional area and see calculated what the resistance is. Then we discussed about semiconductor processing where we said we have different kind of different types of resistors but usually we, we don't have control over the thickness so we introduced a new term called sheet resistance which is normally used instead of resistivity in semiconductors